Hello guys, uh, now that uh, we are done with our theory segment that was uh, section A of our business data analytics, Molimu will want to invite us now to the second segment which is section 2 of the practical area in our business data analytics. Recall we have uh, already done so far 20 questions in relation to uh, basically the theory part looking at the practical part which is section 2 which covers basically 60% uh, of the total marks that will be required to earn in our business data analytics in our revision we have designed this paper in a way that it entails the major areas that are always tested based on the two papers that have been done major areas which will include areas to do with financial management we have areas to do with financial reporting we have areas basically to do with management accounting. And this time round, we also have an area to do with uh, aspect of uh, taxation. So if you've not yet joined our block revision for business data analytics or any other paper for CPA, it is not too late. The beauty part with this model is that uh, you can access these classes at any given point of time, wherever you are, and also you can as well download this content to study offline. Meaning that even if you don't have internet, your revision will not be interfered. So that let this remaining time that uh, basically uh, has remained, let this be a game changer on your end. Let this time basically change your, change your results, right? So you can always join us at any given point in time. Our classes are ongoing. Without uh, maybe wasting a lot of time, I want us to jump straight and see. First of all, we'll go through the practical paper questions that we're going to revise, which are basically five questions. Then from there, we'll see which, which question you're going to start with, yeah? So let us see, these are what uh, basically we'll be having. These are the questions, starting with question number 21. 21 so these are question 21 literally this is an area basically to do with uh, uh this is budgeting i think so prepare the budget versus actual income statement for the six months ending 30 june calculate the variance and percentage variance of each line item so we are going to handle that bit then part two of the question basically this is a aspect to do with uh a bit of our management accounting uh, as well as a concept to do the break even point remember the aspect of the aspect of budgeting budgeting will touch across uh, that is a uh, taxation as well as management accounting then we having a break even point analysis that is a purely aspect to do with management accounting we having uh, the other part of cash flow that is a uh, financial reporting we having basically loan amortization schedule. There's a question that I'm going to add here, part B of the question. That is a loan amortization, and we're having question number 25, which is simply the aspect to do with our taxation. So literally, uh, these are, are the questions that uh, we are going to do our revision on. And uh, in our segment today, I want us to start with uh, part A, or rather question number 24, which is part A. So we are talking of uh, the concept to do with uh, financial management and literally we are talking of uh, we are talking of uh, basically aspect of uh, loan amortization so these are what we'll be doing so these are what uh, we are told that uh, M. Darasa is considering investing in an AI project this investment will require a capital of 75 million one of the commercial banks has agreed to loan the company this amount with an annual interest rate of 15% payable for 48 months. The payments are to be made at the end of each month. So looking at that bit, uh, basically these are what uh, we are asked that calculate the monthly payment on the loan. That is monthly payment. Prepare the loan amortization schedule indicating the installment, interest, principal, and loan balance for each month. I think given such a question, this would be quite easy for us to handle because 
this is uh, what we mentioned in relation to loan amortization schedule that we have an inbuilt Excel function which will always tend to help us basically to work out number one, the aspect of payment. So like if we can talk over if we can talk over part one of the question here, the examiner basically wants us to compute our monthly uh calculate the monthly payment on the loan. So a monthly payment on the loan basically is a what I'll be paying on a monthly basis, right? So these are what you're going to do. We have our loan amount. First of all, identify our loan amount. A loan amount in this case, we are given 75 million, right? So basically I'll be having our 75 million being our loan amount. So we can simply have that. We have our loan amount to be 75 million. Uh -huh. So annual interest rate, what are we given? Annual interest rate, my new students, we are given a period of, uh, or rather we are given 15%, right? So I'm having literally here 15%. We talk of uh, the other key element basically is a uh, repayment period. Repayment period. Repayment period. Repayment period in this case, I'm given how long? Repayment period in this case, we can clearly see we are given 48 months. So literally I'm having 48 months. So once we have this case, once we have a loan amount, annual interest rate repayment period, it will be important to note that we are told that the payments are to be made at the end of each month. So that is to say our annual interest rate, we need to have it on a monthly, what is our monthly interest rate, monthly interest rate. That will give us what? That will give us, of course, 15 divide by 12, right? So literally this should give us uh, at least uh, what percentage, if at all you can take in form of percentage. So literally that should give us at least 1.25%. So this should give us 1.25, 1.25%. So once I have these variables, it will be very easy for us to work out our monthly payment. So therefore my payment in this case, a monthly uh, payment, a monthly payment will be as follows. I'm going to have our function, which in this case I'll do equal sign PMT tab rate, a monthly rate literally here we are having, that is uh, that percentage. Number of period, we are talking of how many months? We are talking of uh, basically uh, 48 months, right? Our present value, what is the value of this loan to date? The value of this loan to date is uh, 75 million. So what you want to determine is what are I be paying in a future. So basically in that case, you can close our bracket and recall, we say that for the case of cash flows, of course, it would be an outflow. But for the case of if I told you to look at it on a bank perspective, it will be an inflow. So therefore, we just put a negative before our value. So I just put a negative to have this value. So monthly payment, these are what I'll, be, these are what I'll always be required to pay on a monthly basis. These are what I'll be required to pay on a monthly, on a monthly basis, on a monthly basis. So literally, We've handled part one of the question where you asked to calculate the monthly payment on the loan. Let us proceed to question number two, or rather part two of the question. We are asked to prepare a loan amortization schedule indicating the installment, interest, principal, and loan balance for each for each month. So that will be easy where I'll be having, of course, our period, which literally in this case, these are on a monthly basis. So we are having how many months? 48 months. So basically I'm having month one. Uh, this other bit, of course, I can always tend to take that one plus one. So if I can scroll it down. So we need 48 months, right? 
so 58 months so two more so basically you need 48 months so i'll i'll prepare that bit so i can have it up to that point then i have general here so basically that is our these are basically our months mm -hmm. another important thing is for us to know our installment right what is the installment that i'll be paying the installment that i'll be paying already we have computed that installment which is what the monthly payment this is what i'll be paying on a monthly basis that is what i'll be paying on a monthly basis which i should be having it there so basically actually you can start with uh you can have year zero we start with year zero there or rather period zero so period zero i'll have our general format to have zero mm -hmm. so once we have our installments then proceed and talk about our interest what should be our interest from interest here monthly interest that i'll be paying of course i'll be having our principal value principal amount principal amount and finally i'll be having our loan balance So these are the details that you're having, okay? So my interest basically will be, of course, the annual interest rate, we converted it to monthly interest rate. So I'll be having our loan balance year zero. It is standing at 75 million, right? Our loan balance at year zero, it is standing at 75 million. Interest, that I'll be required to pay, of course, it will be our interest times our 75 million. So this will be our interest. What about our principal? Recall the whole concept of loan amortization, my good students. I gave you this concept when in our coursework, when we are looking at the whole concept of loan amortization. So it is at the same point where I told you guys like uh for us to determine our principal, I'll always be taking our installment minus the interest that I'm paying to give us what? To give us our principal value. Then loan balance, literally, it will be loan balance minus the principal that I am paying. So this is what will be as our loan balance. So because we know very well that our installment will be uh, equal all through, I'm going to have it, I'm going to copy paste this one all through here so basically i'll be having it up to 48 months so literally that will be our installment so our interest our principal the next item that i'm going to do is to determine of course our interest basically in year our interest basically in year in year two which i'll be having the same interest our principal balance that is our principal balance so we have our interest in year two principal what will be our principal our principal literally will be the same value where we are talking of our interest uh or rather we are talking of uh, our installment minus interest to give us our principal so that at this point i can determine our principal as at the end of the day i know one will ask molimo are we going to do this all through the portrait period no actually once we are here we can literally uh we can literally basically uh autofill to give us our to give us our answers all through so how are we going to work it out first of all let me lock our interest value our interest value is uh, c16 so i'm going to lock this because it will be constant all through lock you press f4 mm -hmm. then what about our aspect to do with the uh, this value in relation to our principal of course our principal the item that is going to remain constant all through you know very well that is going to be b3 right this one remain constant all through 
but better still you can just leave it at that point so that as at the end of the day what we can do i can just autofill by autofilling let me repeat that by autofilling you see that thick red or rather thick cross appearing there at uh, the bottom corner you just double click at this point i just double click then on this case because we are having our principal minus uh, uh long balance minus principal this one will also be easy i just double click so that all through the period these are what i'll be having our loan amortization see how easy it is i've prepared our loan amortization for the 48 months for 48 months so we can see our interest as our interest is decreasing our principal amount is increasing as our principal as our interest is decreasing our principal amount is increasing installment is just the same so this is what we can refer to as our loan amortization schedule loan amortization schedule there yeah, you can format it the way you wish to format it this is a basically loan amortization schedule loan amortization loan amortization schedule so that is to say that in this context then m darasa will have to pay this loan using this schedule the interest installment and the principal value yeah it is as simple as that my dear students you have a loan amortization and if you're given the marks that you're given you'll be having you realize that as at the end of the 48 months our loan balance is zero as at the end of 48 months our loan balance here is zero meaning that have cleared everything we have cleared we have cleared everything yeah so this is uh, what you're required to do in that question so in this case i want us basically to meet in the next session with you students where we are going to handle question number 22 the aspect of break even analysis a very interesting a very interesting part a very interesting part so to this point uh, let us meet in our next session where we are going to handle question number two remember you can get uh, this uh, you can get of course uh, this document below this video probably uh, if you're watching via youtube just check uh, below this video i'm having a link attached to this video then of course in that case you can download it and uh, watch it uh, later on so that is uh, what you are required literally to do in part one of the question and uh, to this point guys I'll want us basically to meet in our next session where we are going to look at other questions. I know by the time we are through with our revisions, all of us will just be smiling wherever we are. And when, even after exams, I know you're going to give me the results. All of us will be smiling. To this point, let us meet in the next session, guys. Thank you so much.